Conservation of momentum is one of the biggest ideas in physics, pretty much right after the conservation of energy. So let's see what conservation of momentum means and how we can use it to solve a variety of physics problems. The most prominent type of physics problems that we'll use conservation of momentum for are collisions. Here's the basic idea behind conservation of momentum. We already know some of the consequences of conservation of momentum, so it'll be easy to see how it shows up. First of all, consider an isolated particle. With an isolated particle, if it receives no force from the outside, its velocity won't change. If its velocity doesn't change, then of course its momentum won't change. So from what we already know with Newton's first law, an isolated object's momentum never changes. Most basically we can think of this as that Newton's first law is a consequence of the conservation of momentum. Let's think now about systems of particles. By Newton's third law, Whenever we have particles interacting, they apply equal and opposite impulses to each other. Thus, they experience equal and opposite momentum changes. Since their individual momentum changes are equal and opposite, the total momentum change of the system is zero. Thus, the total momentum of any system of interacting objects remains the same as long as there are no outside forces. By outside forces, I mean interactions with anything outside the system. So as long as all the interactions are within the system, momentum is conserved. I've already made the distinction between internal and external forces, internal forces being those between objects within the system, however you've defined it, and external forces being from interactions with objects outside the system. When interactions are between objects within the system, then the forces within the system add to zero, and so internal forces do not change the momentum of the system. External forces, of course, are with objects outside the system, and they will change the system's momentum, because the corresponding equal and opposite force, impulse, and momentum change are with an object outside the system. So here's a silly example that I'll use to illustrate the distinction between these internal and external forces. We see the apple pulling on the orange to pull it forward. By Newton's third law, we know that the apple and orange pull on each other with equal and opposite forces. Those forces tend to pull them together. It pulls the apple toward the orange, and it pulls the orange toward the apple but these forces do not affect the total momentum of the orange apple system. The apple on the ground, on the other hand, push on each other. That is an external interaction, the ground being external to the apple orange system. So that force will accelerate the whole system of the apple and the orange, and it will change the momentum of the apple orange system. Let's look at the free body diagrams for the different players in these interactions. We're going to look only at forces in the horizontal direction, because that's where the acceleration is. In the vertical direction, all the forces cancel, so we can pretty much ignore them. So first for the orange. The orange receives a pulling force from the apple to the right. That's all it receives. The orange accelerates to the right. If we're looking just at the orange as our system, it's receiving an external force, an external impulse and momentum change. Therefore, the apple's momentum is changing. Momentum is not conserved with this interaction. If we look at the apple, the apple receives a backward force from the orange, and it receives a forward force from the ground. If we're looking at the apple as our system, its momentum is changing, it's accelerating to the right. If we look at the system that includes both the apple and the orange, and the force of the apple pulling on the orange to the right, and of the orange pulling on the apple to the left, cancel out within the system, it might cause the apple and the orange to move around within the system, but it doesn't change the momentum of the system itself. The force of the ground pushing on the apple to the right, however, is an external force and does change the momentum of the apple-orange system. So this will be our best statement of the law of conservation of momentum. The total momentum of an isolated system never changes. By isolated I mean that there are no interactions with objects outside the system. A consequence of this law is to say that the total momentum of the universe never changes. If the universe is defined as that which contains everything, then of course there are no interactions with outside objects, and the universe itself is an isolated system. So therefore, whatever momentum the universe itself has, it never changes.